everyone, this is Brooke and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Today I have my long-awaited Louis Vuitton bag charm collection video. I have been promising this video for a while, but the reason that I have not been able to do it until now is because I keep buying more bag charms and I'm always thinking, well, if I'm gonna get that, I might as well have it in the video. So I think I bought my last one I think I bought my last one a few weeks ago and I showed that to you in my last video but just in case I do reserve the right to buy more if anything really cute comes out especially if it has pink on it that's my um, that's my downfall bag charms that have pink on them and you will see a common theme of that as I show you all the charms I have I'm not gonna go into a lengthy introduction because I do have 15 charms and I want this video to be as short as possible but giving you as much information as possible. So if you're interested in watching and seeing the bag charms that I have currently in my Louis Vuitton bag charm collection, I would like you to stay and watch. Okay, so in no particular order, I have, like I said, 15 bag charms that I'm gonna show you today. And for reference on what they look like on the monogram print, I have my Luco tote here that I am going to use to show you what the um, charms look like just suspended on a bag. But we're here to talk about bag charms, so let's do that. Um, the first one I want to talk about is my very first one, and by the jingling you can tell which one it is. It is the Topage bag charm, and it looks like this. It jingles a lot, and I love the sound it makes when it's on my bag. And um, you can see that it's all metal. It's uh, three colors of metal. And it's got a tag that says Louis Vuitton. right there. So this is what it looks like on the bag. It's a very large charm and like I said you do hear it when you walk around um, but I love it. It was my first bag charm and I wore it every day for probably a good couple of years until I got into buying other bag charms but this is what it looks like. The next one I want to show you is actually my first canvas and leather bag charm. It is this one right here. It is called the carousel on the monogram background and it has the pink, the hot pink background. I don't know what these specific colors of pink are called but um, they all have somewhat something of pink. Um, but anyway this is the carousel bag charm. You see it's got the monogram print in the background. It's a beautiful gorgeous uh, print there and the back is the hot pink like I said. It's a relatively small charm and this is what it looks like on the bag. The next bag charm I have is also a leather and canvas charm. It's called the Posies and it looks like this. It has the Damier Aben background with pink flowers in the middle and on the back is another hot pink leather. It's again relatively small and it looks like this on the bag. The next charm I have is this one. It is the jungle charm that came out this past spring. Again it has the monogram background and it also has the hot or the light pink palm fronds and the red dots. And on the back is the pink that matches the palm fronds. And that's in leather as well. All of these charms that I'm showing you, or all these bag charms, have a hook for your bag and a keychain. I never use these as keychains. I only use them as bag charms. And this is what it looks like on this bag. But this next one is the air balloon charm. This one was hard to find. It is in the pink balloon with the Damir Aben background. And the back is this bluish hot pink, almost a fuchsia color. It's got the beautiful blue-pink glazing 
Yeah, I would definitely call this a fuchsia, and it's really, really pretty. And it's well made, it's very, you see how thick it is, and I just love it. Like I said, these are all collector's items to me, and this one was really, really, really hard to get, but I got it. <laughs> so this is what it looks like on the bag. I like it because it's a rectangle and it's just a little bit unusual. So it really does stand out and look really pretty on the bags. They all do. The next one I want to show you is actually my only luggage tag. Well, it's actually my, I have two luggage tag. One that stays on my keep ball. It's the large one. And then I also got a small one that is just for my never full Damir Azure bag. And I keep it on there, but I thought I'd take it off to show you. Not really a bag charm, but I use it as one, so I thought I would put it in this collection. But you can see there, I have my initial on there, and it's a light pink B. With the Vichetta getting darker, it's making the B hard to see. But um, it's enough that I know it's there. It's the only thing I've ever had hot stamped, and I'm really pleased with the job they did and that it's very, very subtle. So I don't know if you can see that, but there is a B stamped on there, right there. I'm not gonna, I'll just hold it up to the bag because I've got this fixed in such a way that it'll lie flat when I put it on my Neverfull. But this is what it would look like on this bag. I'm sorry, I'm covering my face up so much because the focus is best like center straight on and I'm holding the bag charms there and that's where my face is so sorry I'm covering everything up. The next charm I want to show you is the Louis Vuitton monogram mirrors charm with the rose ballerine and it is, I'll show you this way, it has a mirror inside there and it's trimmed with rose ballerine and this side is completely done with rose ballerine and leather and both sides have the monogram print the nice rose ballerine at glazing on the edge gives it more details the only thing i don't like about this charm is the side that does not have the mirror curls out by that i mean it does this See how it goes that kind of drives me crazy every now and then not too much because when you hang them they swish around but it's just something I noticed and this is what it looks like on the bag so as the bag swings you see the the peak of pink popping through I love that so that is the monogram mirrors charm the next one I want to show you is this one, and it is called the Multi-V Bag Charm. Looks like that. It's got different colors of, uh, there's pink and there's magenta, or what is that, burgundy? And then on the back, it's this wine color. Probably the least pink of all of them, but I still think it's very pretty. It's got the monogram background. And this is what it looks like on the bag. Really nice. The next one is the first of my two Evasions bag charms. And this one is the Evasions bag charm with a car. Gorgeous details on this one. I hope you can see it. And again, sorry for covering up my face but it is just gorgeous the way they did all the detailing in there and on the monogram canvas and the back is another fuchsia pink color. Really, really pretty. Very nice. And this is what it looks like on the bag. And even though most of these have the monogram print background, I tend to mix and match them and wear them on different print bags. So I'll wear something that's got a monogram print charm on a Azure print bag, and I think that looks really pretty. This next charm 
is the Pink V charm that came out a few years ago. Gorgeous salmony pink on the monogram background. And it says Louis Vuitton on the bottom. And on the back, it's the same color pink as the V in a gorgeous leather with the glazing in the matching color. It's, I think it's really stunning and really pretty and it definitely looks great on monogram because the V just is a bright pop of color. Not too much, but definitely not too little. And I think that looks really, really good. Almost done. <laughs> the next one is another metallic one that I have and it is called the Facets Charm. It is like this. It's a nice little small one that I like to wear on my pochette accessory bags. It's in the gold tone. They also have this in silver tone. I don't know if they carry that all the time, but it's something that you can get your hands on. And um, it's got this little faceted go uh, gold piece right there. And it's a keychain or a bag charm. Again, I like to wear this on small bags. Really nice. Really simple but elegant, and it looks like that. It's just it's just really nice. It has the logo suspended from the holder, and it just dangles on your bag and looks really, really good. So the next charm I have is one of my favorites. It is the Evasions bag charm with the cruise ship. Now, if you know me, you know I hate cruises, but look at that. Isn't that nice? If I ever saw a pink cruise ship like this one, I might take it. <laughs> But it is the monogram background with the nice illustration on there, very detailed. And on the back is this gorgeous pink leather, really light pink, rose ballerine leather. It's just beautiful. And the glazing is done in the brown like the monogram canvas. Nice and thick and sturdy and will last a lifetime. These are wonderful collector's items for me and I think they're really nice. And this is what this one looks like on the bag. These are eye-catching too. They really tell a story and um, catches, catches people's eyes when you walk by. So that's what it looks like on the tote bag. The next bag charm I have is called the Naif. And it looks like this. It's in the pink colors. Really, really pretty. It's got the resin center and the gold outer part that um, keeps everything in place. It's got nice detailing with the gold rivets in the middle. It just has a hook for a bag charm, not a keychain. And just the details on these are just amazing. So this is what that looks like. I think the colors just popping on the brown is really pretty. And I, I just love the pop of color. It's a nice break from all the canvas charms that I have. So it's really pretty. It looks great on my white watercolor Speedy. And I just love it. Okay, down to the last two. And these are my most recent two. The first one is my monogram tassels charm. And it looks like this. And it has the rose ballerine leather band up here to keep everything secure. All the fringe is made of monogram. And underneath each piece of monogram is a pink strip of rose ballerine leather so it is a very gorgeous piece it is a big statement on your bags it has a large key chain hook here and a big hook for attaching to your bag lots of details on there and this is what it looks like it goes all the way down to the end of the bag and then some <laughs> But this is what it looks like on there. It looks good just kind of swishing and swashing as you walk by. I like to wear this one with this one at the same time. So the Rose Ballerine monogram uh, mirrors charm with the tassel charm. I think they look really pretty together. And that's what I was doing with my uh, Never Full with the Rose Ballerine lining. So I was very well coordinated. But yeah, this is the Tassels Charm. It's really uh, brand new in the stores, and I, I love it. I don't have, you know, obviously I don't have anything else like it, 
and um, I think it's very unusual and very pretty. And the last bag charm is the last one that I've acquired. Hopefully this might end the streak, but you never know. <laughs> this one is, oh, I should show it to you first. This is the Lovely Bird bag charm. Looks like that, and it's so cute and adorable. I know my lights are washing it out, but the area around the white part of the eye is pink with gold rivets in there. And it's just the detailing is unbelievable. I have pictures of it on Instagram. I'll put pictures of all of these on Instagram over the course of the next uh, several days so that you can see what they look like. But isn't this really, really cute? And again, I just made an unboxing video showing you all about this. And the back of it is Rose Ballerine. And it is so pretty. I love the light pink. So when it flips over, it still looks pretty. And this is what it looks like on the bag. Just uh, blends into the background and also, you know, just the face of the owl pops out. It's just like, woo, <laughs> right at you. And it's just uh, very happy looking and very cute. And I imagine this will be very eye-catching when I start to wear it, so. So these are the bag charms that I have in my collection right now. I thank you so much for watching this video. I know I kind of went through these really quickly. If you have any questions about any of them or want to see pictures of them, like on Instagram or something like that, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to do that for you or give you more information. But um, that's about it for now. I'm gonna go, I have to go pick up Morgan from school and I have to rush and do that. So I'm gonna end this video by saying thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And I really do appreciate your time and I love all you guys and I can't wait to see you again in my next video. Thanks a lot, have a great week. Bye-bye. Yeah.